What's up guys, it's Machanga back with another video. First things first, I really appreciate everyone that has stuck around being subscribed to my channel over the years. I really love you guys. I am back and ready to get you all updated on everything that's going on, both good and bad with the Amazon Fire TV devices. For everyone that is new to my channel, welcome. I really hope you find this video and all of my upcoming videos to be helpful in some way. Now let's get to the topic of the day. All of my Amazon Fire TV devices are out of date because it's been so long since I've checked on them. So we're going to get everything updated and make any necessary changes to the settings to be sure we are all on the same page. I like to get settings and updates out of the way before we install any new programs or apps on the device. Before we go any further, in this video, I'm using the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K Max. Any of the steps that I cover in my videos will apply to all of the Fire TV devices except the Fire Stick 4K Select. If you have the Fire Stick 4K Select model, I highly recommend replacing it with a completely different version for the time being. We can talk about the limitations of the Fire TV Stick 4K Select down in the comment section. So for everyone following along, we want to start on the home page, then scroll over to access settings. Now, Amazon has always pushed automatic updates, but with their latest update, they will literally make changes to your privacy settings. So you want to check to be sure the things you turned off are still off. And if they have been turned back on, you need to turn them back off ASAP. Once you're in settings, just click on my fire TV. Now we want to head to the about section and check for updates. So for me, I do have an update right now, so I'm going to have to scroll down to install that update. You may see check for updates on your device. If there is an update, it'll be automatically downloaded. Then you can select install that update. I'm going to do that now. So give me a moment. All right. So once that is done, you want to make sure you're on the most recent version for whatever Fire TV device you're using. You may notice that if you have a brand new Fire TV device, or if you haven't used it in a while, you may have a few different versions of updates to go through. So just make sure to complete them all. Okay. So now that you're on the latest version, we're going to go back into settings to take a look at our privacy settings. Before I go down the list, the main way that I protect my Fire TV devices, my cell phone, my laptop, and my desktop computer is by using a VPN. If you want to safeguard your personal information on any device you use to connect to the internet, you should be using a VPN. I have used the exact same private internet access VPN for many years, and it's linked below in the video description. I'll go a bit more into detail about it later, but grab yours from my link below and reach out to me with any questions. I'll be happy to help you. All right. So now we want to navigate down to preferences. And in this menu, we're going to scroll down to privacy settings and you're going to see this full list right here. And I have a lot of stuff that's turned on due to the latest update that I want to be turned off. Now the Amazon photos setting here is optional. If you want to have it enabled or disabled, I don't use Amazon photos. So I have that disabled on my device. All of the other settings that you see here, these are related to using your advertising ID to feed information to third party advertisers because they know if they tailor these ads to fit what you spend your time viewing and consuming, you're likely to click on them. So internet based ads right here, it's going to give you a little bit of information about it. When you turn it off, you're still going to see some ads, but they're not going to be using your advertising ID to build a profile for advertising purposes. Collect app usage data. This gives information about the frequency and the duration of your use of third party apps that you download from the app store. I turn it off. This menu item uses personal data collected by the operating system and it's used for marketing and product improvement purposes. I don't want it on. So I turn it off for device usage data. If you are interested, you can scroll through and take a look at what it's telling you because this is not going to actually affect 
your ability to use the features of this device. It lets you know that right here. All right, so we are on manage sharing from apps. This allows supported apps to share your viewing and content information with Amazon. I already have this setting turned off, so you wanna make sure you have it turned off. The information that's shared when you have this toggled on includes your viewing activity, watch lists, recordings, and all rentals and purchases from the app. The reason you want to make sure you have these turned off is because you are not giving Amazon consent to share your data, your personal data with any of the third party advertisers. Okay, before I wrap up this video, I know everyone has been patiently waiting to find out what new working apps are available to install on your Fire TV devices, as well as what are some alternatives I can recommend since many of you may be looking to transition from Amazon Fire devices altogether. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on because that's gonna be the next video I post. Also, once you grab the VPN that I've linked below in the video description, if you have questions or need help getting it installed on your Fire TV devices or Android TV boxes, don't hesitate to reach out to me. And remember, PIA has 24 hour support for you as customers. You want to keep your business private when you're doing anything online and there's always someone waiting to sell your information because it's extremely valuable. I don't take any chances and I always turn my VPN on before accessing content on the internet. If you like this video and wanna see more streaming content, hit the like button. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to tap the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post new videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.